Hi friends! Today I'm reading this story called Maxi the Little Taxi and the author is Elizabeth Upton so she wrote all of the words and the pictures are by Henry Cole. Maxi the Little Taxi. Maxi the Taxi was a dazzling sight. Everything about him was flashy and bright. He was little and yellow and shiny and new. On his first day of work, there was so much to do. His friend, Mr. Buddy, sent Max on his way. Drive safely, said Buddy, and have a great day. Max zipped here, he zipped there, he zipped everywhere. From the park to the river and back to the square. He zoomed up, he zoomed down, he zoomed all around town, splashing in every big puddle he found. Small sticky fingers at stop after stop let ice cream and mustard go ploppity plop. And outside the gates of an elegant park, a friendly pigeon left her mark. Then up came a taxi gal, sparkling and neat, who whispered to Max as they rolled down the street, You'd better wash up, Mr. Gooey Goo, or no one will want to ride with you. When a fashionable lady waved for a ride, Maxie zoomed over but splashed her right side. My skirt, screamed the lady, and look at you. You're filthy and gooey and grimy too. Not very polite. Soon all of the people who needed a taxi took one quick look and walked right past Maxie. That's kind of sad. Max was so sad, down streamed his tears and his swish swishing wipers turned dirt into smears. Poor Maxie. Then a boy with his mother who waved, jumped and hopped were happy when Maxie zoomed over and stopped. Yuck, said the boy. I hope it's okay if we stop at the car wash across the way. Maxie's very dirty. This says car wash. At the mouth of the car wash, Max screeched to a stop, afraid he'd been eaten like a yellow gum drop. Clink, clink, Maxie's tires rolled onto the track, but it was too late for Max to turn back. So he's feeling a little scared. It seems like he's never been in a car wash before. Rum, mum, mum, went the brushes. Pish, pish, went the spray, washing the grit and the dirt away. Flip, flop, went the scrubbers. Blip, blop, went the suds. And they tickled his muffler and bumper and hubs. Beep, 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 laughed Max. Beep, 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 beep. And out of the car wash, he rolled to the street. He's feeling happy. He's feeling brand new. He's all clean and shiny. Outside the streetlights shone down on Max and magically Max felt himself shining back. He opened his windows ready for flight and away they all went through the sparkling night. Welcome home, said Mr. Buddy. You're right on time with no bumps or scratches. Just look at you shine. How was your day, Max? Where have you been? Here's an extra polish while I tuck you in. Max told the whole story of his kind new friend and the big bath that splashed him front, middle, and end. And then, very tired, Max sighed, beedy beep, and driftily, dreamily, he fell fast asleep. The end. 
what an adventure Maxie the little taxi went on and he just had such a busy day and then he kind of got really messy and dirty right and then someone encouraged him to wash up and he did and he felt so much better he took care of himself so maybe do something to take care of yourself today that's what I got from this story and be like Maxie the little taxi I hope you enjoyed this book and thank you always for listening to my stories when I read them to you and I hope you have a really wonderful day.